today we're going to be looking at um, section six of our patterns and variables chapter and we're going to be looking at how do I change a mixed number into an improper fraction and an improper fraction into a mixed number. Um, so some vocabulary words that we need to be proficient at before we get started is what does a proper fraction mean? A proper fraction is um, what we traditionally think of as a fraction. So 3 over 8 is a proper fraction. My numerator is less than my denominator. Improper fraction would be something that has a fraction that is greater or equal to 1. So 8 over 3 means that my numerator is bigger than my, than my denominator. So this is an improper fraction. A mixed number um, tells us a whole number and a fraction put together. So maybe I have 4 and 3 eighths. All right, so the first thing we're going to work on is writing a mixed number as an improper fraction. So here's my mixed number, 4 and 3 fifths. Here's the formula I'm going to follow every time, the pattern I'm going to follow every time. I'm going to do, I'm going to do 5 times 4 plus 3. So I multiply my denominator and whole number, 5 times 4, and then I add in my numerator, so plus 3. So that's going to be 23 over 5. So there are 23 more fifths. So again, I multiply my whole number and denominator, add in the numerator. That's how I write a mixed, I change a mixed number into an improper fraction. Um, the opposite of that, then, is going to be writing a fraction as a mixed number. So here's a little story. Each slice of banana bread is one-ninth of a loaf. How many loaves are represented by 42 slices? So the first thing I need to know is how do, am I even going to write this out as a fraction? Well, I have 42 total slices. How many slices are in one loaf? I'm sorry, there are nine total slices in a loaf. So that's where I get my denominator. 42 slices that I have total. I want to know how many loaves are there. So here is my fraction. And I also know that when I see a number written like this as a fraction, that this also means divide. So 42 ninths. So I'm basically going to do a division problem to solve this. So how many times does 9 go into 42? Well, I know that 9 times 4 is 36. So that's going to be uh, a remainder of 6. So the remainder represents how many leftover slices? 6 leftover slices. So what's my whole number going to be? Four. So there are four whole loaves and then six out of nine. So when I simplify, remember how we simplify fractions? Divided by the greatest common factor would be three. So I'm going to have two thirds. Okay, so again, in a picture, I basically have... 42 slices of bread. So how many whole loaves is that? So if I make a picture here, here's a loaf, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, there we go, 9. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So how many of these, how many loaves do I have like this? I have four of these. And the other loaf that I have out of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, out of the 9, I only have 6 of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48
So 42 slices, 42 individual slices is really four whole loaves and two thirds of another loaf. All right, now you are going to put your video on pause and you're going to try um, these three you try problems. I'll see you in just a second. All right, let's see how we did here. Um, I'm just writing 32 over 6 as a mixed number in simplest form. So that means 6 goes into 32 five times. There are two left over, so 5 and 2 6 reduces down to 5 and 1 third. And our next question, I need to know how many quarts I need. So first of all, how many, uh, so I want to know how many quarts are in 2 and 1 fourth gallons. So I'm going to change my mixed number into an improper fraction. So I should have 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So how many quarts are there? Well, there's 9 quarts. And then in my last problem here, um, it's the same type of problem. I need 2 and 3 quarter quarts of water to make a soup. How many cups will the chef need? So I know that 1 cup is equal to 1 fourth of a quart. The question is asking me how many cups. So I'm going to take, since I know there are four cups in a quart, I find the number of cups by finding the number of fourths. So notice that my denominator here is four. So four times two is eight. Eight plus three is 11. So my answer is 11 fourths. So since there are how many fourths? There are 11 fourths and two and three fourths. The chef will need 11 cups of water. So these are our um, example problems, and we will do some bell work like this the next time we meet.